Great movement so far from Xset, trying to really move the players on the defense out of position. So far, so good. Second, trying to defend around elbow. Good push comes through from Boyd. This is a big play coming through from B main, looking for control. Ethan finds just a tiny moment to find that frag, and that's going to start snowballing things in the favor of 100 Thieves. Just BCJ left. The jump classic not going to do it this time around. And that. Recovering it. We're going to have. Oh! oh. Death! That's not a bad position, and the spike's making his way through A now. Ethan able to dodge past the toxic screen to pick off Aaron, but this is, this is where everybody's piling through for exit. Death has to defend. Zekin will try to do what he can with the Spectre, but they are cut off from position on the site, but it looks like it's not going to matter too much. Exit winning the gun battles, and now it's down to Hiko against two. Tap comes through looking to get the bait, and they're going to line up, but Hiko getting out of this. Looking for the one and done. Let's one pass. Looking to get something, but nothing for Hiko. Although it looks like Asuna is doing a good job to hold the line just for the moment. And I mean, it's a good effort coming through here, but it will be dealt with. Exet. And Exet. Oh, some spam coming off to the initial first few bullets. And he's going to be forced back. Some good spray coming through the wall there to pressure that position. Exet really crossing the T's, dotting the I's as they go in for a coordinated strike onto this B site, but. Speaking of coordination, a hundred thieves on the defense, making it work very nicely, slowing down the push on either end, and just controlling things from start to finish. Really slow things down for Exet. Yeah, forcing them into Nitro here, but you can see Def outplays Nitro. Exet using Raze on Zekin to get more space, more ground with the showstopper. Great connection there. Let's clean this one up as hundred thieves are stuck outside on the perimeters. But. Still, if they have potential, if they catch this lurk on Def in mid, but losing Boy in spawn, then they can't catch Def. Yes, yes. And I have to go even do a callback to that play from Death, the way that he outplayed Nitro on that B main angle. That shows confidence, for sure. You know, you're going yeah. into the operator play. That's got, you know, he going out some of those opening positions around A main for 100 Thieves. Damn, this is going to be a brawl. All of, They're all around this, this A lobby, and Nitro falls with the Blade Storm, but the trade comes in from Boy right away, and Exet recognizes. You want to find Ooh, it! there's the Cosmic Divide coming in. Both of them, though, Dan. Oh, look at Boy in the site. He's playing right up on it. We saw Vova do this at Masters, but no! Oh! Beautiful Five play, Exet. They know how to handle that situation. All pushing at once, using the utility to their advantage. Oh, the showstopper coming out. It doesn't take out BCJ, but he wins the battle anyway. Yeah, and that was the that was what they were waiting for. Some kind of movement. It's gone a bit too well for 100 Thieves. Exet. They're forced to have to brute force their way into the A site, and they will make the trades happen to at least have a go at this. Two versus three, Spike needs to make his way across. It is not safe. You can see Hiko can cut off this angle. Spike has to cross that line of sight. Welcome and Hiko knows it. World. Oh, the Viper's Pit though, coming in from Aaron. Oh, it's gonna go down straight away. That's so unfortunate. 10 seconds for Zekin to get to the site. He's got only a single satchel to maybe cover some of the ground, but oh, there's so many crosshairs pointed towards him and that's gonna be oh, what Exit are doing. The guiding light from Ethan goes in A tower, gets no info. So you can see they clear out mail, they get a trade, and that trades go in Exet's favor. Oh, there's a whip from Nitro though. That's an opportunity to maybe recover some ground here. Exet will be finding that spike plant. Three players, no ults to go for 100 Thieves to try to break their way back into the site. That ice wall, of course, allowing you know easier, safer passage back to B main if necessary. They're all actually going to stand towards back pillar and fight here from Exet. I like this. They have the numbers advantage. All right, these are going to start pressing forward. Isol to slow things down. The flash comes through and the swing. Exet, great coordination. Very hard to play against that one. Ethan is in a world of pain. And Exet will pick up an honey. And wow, we've got like a walkthrough from Death. Very bold. Maybe had a reset toward the B site here and it worked and look asana has fallen into defender spawn this is a four on two in the b site and one has fallen but nitro has the perfect position here there's gonna be the satchel to get across nitro dashes resets but exit left the two players actually two versus two as the spike will be planted just in the nick of time the res comes through from bcj second back in the action once again a lot of work here for ethan and boy oh the triple back site I love it.
There is a gravity well, though, Dan. Oh, a Nova Pulse, maybe? We're about to find out. You can see 100 Thieves clearing position by position. Oh, you might be getting it. Sean, there goes the gravity well. And, oh, unfortunately, Ethan goes down. He was the one to follow up that gravity well. And now, boy, unfortunately, he's not going to be able to do anything from that distance. Except, you know, given what we saw 100 Thieves do in Berlin. Yeah. Oh, oh no, Hiko. He had the Judge and the Viper's Pit. I feel like it was just meant to be, but apparently not. Exec going to march through that one. And they've got an A site. And this is going to be problematic. We've got the Blade Storm ready. Boy has that Cosmic Divide to help his team into the site for the retake. And they have A Heaven Control. It's just the weapons that are the, are the main issue here. But that Cosmic Divide can help you to close distance moving into the site for the retake. There it is. It's going to block off A main, but Exit is one step ahead. They're pretty ready for this Cosmic Divide, Dan. They are ready for everything in this split game so far. And looking to mount the final defense. Here comes the final push. Good opening trades coming through. Nitro in a one versus two now with the Blaze Storm still active. Looking for the headshot. Finds one. Dash into the next. Oh, great right click from Nitro. Is there going to be time for this one, though? I think that just very well might be. He's going to be so close. Ooh. Nitro! He's got it Ooh. just about. And they have Zekin in heaven. And there it is. We get all of the pops coming through the Nova Pulse as well. He's going to be able to deal with Pura on the site quite quickly. That's what had to happen here for 100 Thieves to be smooth on this plant. But post-plant positions are important. And Boy is the only player that is off of the site right now. So Boy really needs to survive. And you can see that he has that sense of urgency to just keep himself in a position where he can live. As Xset are looking for him and starting to try to coordinate into the site. BCJ gets two off of the initial push. Boy lured out of position into the crosshair of death and just like that Xset regaining control on the site. Hiko dodging around trying to isolate these jewels with that classic. There's only so much he can do. Aaron's going to pick him off. He's coming at them. He has one guiding light. He used his trailblazer. So how are they going to clear out this judge, Dan? Oh, they're playing the bait with the second. Oh, the jiggle bait. And then the true threats revealed with the judge. And that's going to slow everything down. There's 20 seconds left. They needed the B heaven play to be under control. Because how do they get through from B main into the B side? There's no choice but to just run through. And you can see the result is not favorable. Exit was... Oh, he's waiting for the flash timing. Death doesn't get anything from it, though. And it's looking pretty good. The run out into elbow was bold. Another bold play from BCJ to go beyond the wall. He'll get punished. And he only picks off Nitro. So his aggressive play is not panning out so far for Xset. They don't really have too much to work with on this retake. So yeah, this backside setup looks good to go. Flash then out. Force and info. And in walks Aaron. Ooh, this could get sketchy. Last player standing. Ethan shuts things down. <laughs> yeah. At that point, the round is pretty closed out. Huge win right there for 100 Thieves. They obviously needed that, but 11-6, they still have a lot of work to do. They can't let their foot off the gas yet. Dude. Yeah, absolutely. And I love that they didn't use the Viper's Pit in the end, because, you know, they, they yes. want to maintain as much of an alt advantage as they can. You know, that's a part of the kind of economic exchange the trade between the teams not just like the you know boy is over here at the lobby he recognized bcj walled off the lobby aggressively broke that wall and that forced exit to believe this was a b hit they've rotated to a heaven and they've fallen 100 thieves has this a side man yeah there's only one player elbow to worry about second second could really ruin their day here if you can hold on to this position Get some extra kills out of this. He could open it up for his teammates. He'll go down. The res comes through. Exet. They want this round. Three versus four. The spike goes down. Players here separated for 100 Thieves. Nitro gets picked off. It's the Viper's Pit now. Popped by Hiko. They want to absolutely guarantee this round. And that might be the way to do it. See Aaron's falling back here. That gravity well is quite annoying. But Aaron... Oh my goodness. Aaron punished the spray. Oh, the Viper ults. They're crossing past, and this is going to be mad. This is so hard to deal with, Aaron. How do you find Eco or Ethan at this point? Surely it's just a complete gamble. Tapping the spike and down to one HP. No bullets to go. This couldn't really be worse for Aaron at this point. Ethan will get the trade on. Another advantage that gets carried forward. Look at the post plan. They're just set up in such a way to play the heaven post, but Nitro's in a heaven on the flank. He's gonna get a pop off too as well. Some good trades coming in from 
Exet not going down without a fight here. They're able to try to push forward now with that position around a ram. And slowly but surely they're isolating these battles. Time is of the essence though. There's really not that much time to play with. Hiko, he knows he's done it. He drops the snake bite. There is no time to win this one now. It's about damage and Aaron's going to pick him off. But another round going to 100 thieves. The dash was burned there by Nitro. And BCJ, oh, he goes beyond it. Second with a great lineup on the paint. Oh. Shells death with the headshot connection with the operator. And there is not much left for 100 thieves. I mean, this could have been the round to decide it all, Sean. And for 100 thieves, but Xset. They pull out all the stops. The first look from the operator is pretty nice. And Ethan, he has a guiding light, but he's going to need to open it up before. And he can't do it. 12 for... It is the worst timing possible. But the Seekers come out of pure. Oh, Aaron goes beyond the wall, trying to take the challenge here. Finds Whoa. the jet. Beautiful stuff. Huge kill from Aaron. Will get tapped by the Seeker, but he might be safe here. Oh, no, the pain shell's coming through. Hiko's going to be able to deal with that one. And that's going to leave just second of death here on this retake. Spike looking to go down another great shot through from Hiko. But death there. Forward position, looking for one, standing in the acid. He's going to be able to take down one, but the trade is through. Oh. Come back through a B main aggression. We haven't seen this at all. Boy, just holding down mouse one, looking for those connections. There's also online. BCJ, they picked up the ult orb. They've charged up the res. He's going to pop the res, Sean. That is very interesting, Dance. Oh, yeah. Aaron falls in second. He can end this, Dan. Oh, the show Oh, the judge comes through. It saves the day for second just for a moment longer. Three versus two. Maybe that res ain't looking so bad after all. The cosmic divide. That they, they feel it. They think they're gonna win this match off of this round, or this map rather. As Nitro is stuck with Hiko behind this. They have no space. They force out the Viper's pit. There's no util to actually send in. I don't think, except a guiding light. There's no Trailblazer available though. That's what you'd want here. They're going to have to push in, and they're spraying forward. This is so scary right now. Nitro, one versus oh. three. Phantom in hand, and it's been removed. Exet are going to win. He actually used his in hull, so that's out of the picture. And we have Aaron on a massive flank. Yes, I was just looking at that. Now, is he going to go all the way through to the window? I'll have to see how deep this lurk is truly going to be. You can see it, boy, is watching out for that. Oh, Ethan, he would have bring that classic to a successful finish against BCJ. And how did these really looking great here? Second will be able to take one down at the very least, but this is starting to look very labored for Xset. Just don't have the bodies for this one. Second will go dead. Once again, <laughs> the marshal's coming out. Nitro, that's a, that's a nice pickup. Marshall's definitely great here, but you can see that the weaponry is working out nicely for under these so far. Yeah, and th there's quite a bit invested in them for, you know, a defensive-sided eager on a few marshals on the board, and they're not going to get map is just so built around Viper, right? The Viper walls by boy, then they have Ethan, who can throw guide and like thieves, and Xset. Uh, they've got some rifles to work with here. Aaron, they're trying to control the door position and the push comes through behind the Seekers onto the A site so ground gain spike will keep going down on this A site second getting that trailblazer through able to catch Chico with that one oh sorry boy spike ticking away actually yeah. look at Arsenal awesome. really lurking through all of the drone spots him actually that's a pretty big tag Ooh. the drop down this time he actually drops for real Oh, he is so dead. <laughs> Death comes through, gets a nice upgrade. Some good time has been killed off the clock here by 100 Thieves. Trying to play that delay game, but still, we have Exit now closing in. Two players left here for Exit, and well, never mind. Seekers coming through. We get the Nano Swarms, so that will prevent them from following the Seekers, so that kind of nullifies those Seekers. See boy indeed on that elbow lurk coming through. Aaron unable to defend backside. Big wins coming up here for 100 Thieves. That said, though, we have a great fight. BCJ able to deal with Ethan. And this, please give me that it. Zuma, Zuma energy. Asana, pop the ult, please. Give us the anime moment. One HP. Steel ruined him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what he can do here. 
playing the backside pyramids. Three players on coming. Oh, he is. He's going to pop it. He's feeling it. He's alone. One versus three. There's the first one. Gets some heal off at the back of that. Resets the position. Starts trying to tag and just dodge around the back pyramid to do what he can. Again, looking to force the 1v1s. The Cloud Burst is going to allow him to push further. Asuna might just be able to do this one. He's going to try to close the ground. Another headshot from Asuna. Can he stop this in time? Oh, he can't stop it in time. And we can see actually looking for a very big fight here. Up towards Cave, going close with those sky flashes. And it's looking like it's going to come out the better for 100 Ds here. BCJ looking to maybe just fall back. He needs some support. His position compromised. Stuck behind the boxes. Asuna is looking for him. And he's going to find it too. Asuna is scary. He's on fire right now, Dan. When he plays this Reina role, and he has the freedom to just roll with the kills, once he gets the first one, you just feel them falling like dominoes. This isn't over yet. Death can easily win this, and there's the retake wall in the site. Yeah, that operator can certainly be... It's going to have to play ahead of the wall here, so... That's what Death is really going to be having trouble with, I would imagine. Questions they don't know precisely where he is, but <laughs> there we go, it doesn't matter. Asuna just let eek his way through. Actually hit Ooh, it dead. Him. But there's no one there to punish it. You can see it. Oh Asuna's looking for it. I can't believe it. He picks it up. Huge wow. kill from Asuna. Lurking in that position. That's the kill to get. Pura has to go absolutely huge from this backside position to try to recover this. They're in such a bad spot, but it looks like Asuna once again will be the thorn in the side. Just the, it, the thorn is everywhere. Yeah, really? Off the back of Ethan, though, on the on the Trailblazer? On the B-Retake. I mean, but if they can get A-Ring close... Aaron does have his lockdown on deck. It's just, where can he use it from on this B-Site? Well, with the Viper's Pit going down, that may obscure some vision to allow Aaron to get closer. But he's gone down straight away! So Aaron it's going down by himself in mid. Down the lockdowns out of the picture. 100 Thieves losing every player somehow. I think I don't know if this Viper's Pit is completely backfired or what, Sean, because it's just Ethan left against the masses of Xset. And Xset gonna pick it up. Yeah. And here they go straight. Oh, oh my. Asana clothesline. Zekin makes it look so quick, so clean. Pura at the back site is doing what he can. It's, uh, it's, I mean, it's two kills. It's really the best he could have ever had from that position, and now Death is in a 1v3. Spike planted. So back to the usual shenanigans here, 100 Thieves. As you know, so Asuna is basically the juggernaut. Yeah. That's basically what he is in this game. I'm not going to lie, when I was watching him jump around the A side, I felt like I was watching like Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Like He's just going up and down the ramps, jumping around, getting tracked. He goes through that drone through. Oh, he just wants to use it. Put it down! There we go. <laughs> no! Oh, the line of the BCJ! The vision, though, gets obscured at the wrong moment, but Edset able to actually capitalize off of the back of the lockdown because... 100 Thieves push forward, they want to deal with it head on. They are just looking for the fight here on 100 Thieves, and... That's sad. In a bad spot here. There goes Pura for the swing. Wow. Oh, the gunfight, so great start. Pretty ready for this. The door will get opened up. All over this. Oh, nice draw! He's crazy! Ethan's there to back him up, but that dash play... That did not give them the result they were looking for, but there you go, Asuna, he's still alive, on the arena, ready to go, gets the armor, and... Ooh, that molly might take out the planter. Aaron's so low right now. <gasps> Spike down yeah, a. a lot of damage coming through, Aaron on 1 HP. Asuna's just running around again, he is the juggernaut, and in he goes. There is no mercy, <laughs> as he recharges through, ghost in hand. Looking to find it, remaining kills. Asana is just on a roll right now, looking for the quad kill. Second able to deal with him. Eco, blast in the face. Second finishes the fight. Erinda doesn't really have the weapon for this. He's with 100 Ds on this retake. Looking quite awkward here for this defense of this spike. Asana close in the mix with the Vandal in hand. Finds his first victim. Who is going to be next here for Asuna as he starts to clear these positions. He can tap the bomb as well. That's going to start the pressure. The spam through this wall, surely. 100 Thieves now going for the pressure. Oh, Asuna, you just can't stop this guy. Ethan's there for backup as well as Asuna is just pushing. Out comes the pistol. Doesn't want to reload. This was A as well. So 100 Thieves are in a great spot. The Seekers come through. Exec go for that push onto B. Pura is going to be able to convert 
against Boy off the back of that. So they've got that B-site control now. He's in, in a pretty forward position by, behind the half wall. Healing over here. Nico finds one. No ults though on 100 Thieves. So this is a super difficult oh, retake. Oh, oh. Def on the flank on this Viper roll. He's going to end the round. Remaining. Oh, great stuff I from Def. That's... That is huge, just yeah. cleaning up like that. If they can survive with four players here, that's going to be a huge advantage moving forward. He's been trying to get some damage, but yeah, great hold there. You can see Exit kind of pause. That aspect of the game. He's so good at having presence. There, there it is! Yes, we got it, Tan! Sheriff in hand. Gure will make his way to and close down that distance. That's a huge frag to find. Exit are able to gain some ground here, but it's a, th a two versus two, trading pretty effectively with these Sheriffs. Boy, there with a very nice shot, and now it's down to Nitro and Eco, and it looks like Exit have a decent read as to where these players are coming from. Playing backside together, they have to win these battles. They cannot, they cannot allow a hundred thieves to win this round. Oh, Nitro, I, I think he's going to allow Hiko to be first contact. He's playing off of Hiko. Hiko will be the bait here, and it works perfectly. Here we go. Gura looking to try to isolate these fights. He has to win that battle, and he goes down. He whisks too hard, and a hundred thieves are going to have enough time to. to it's like hundred thieves are expecting it now. They've managed to get the info. Push comes through. They they have to defend. Boy goes down straight away. Ethan backside still looking to try to keep hold of this position for a moment longer. But Exet able to actually get the damage in, and in fact, not necessarily. He hit. DCJ is already in the sight though. There we go, the push coming in around elbow is looking a little bit sketchy there, so they'll have to abandon that effort and just reroute back to the A site. And meantime, it's actually working out for 100 Thieves. Asana yeah, he's he's in a great cross. position. Oh, the tap's coming through. Asana! <gasps> that was very close. Spike goes down, though, and he's able to escape. Evening enough. Two versus two. Spike has to get planted. There we go. Spike planted. BCJ in second, trying to keep Exet alive in this game of Breeze. The guiding light is online for Zekin right here. The second he realizes Austin is in this main position, he can flash for his teammate. There's the info. Recon goes out. Nitro creeps forward. Doesn't want to tag that Recon. Wants to keep his position a secret as he creeps around the back. Timing is everything. Oh, there's the info! Whoa. He pulls out the Blaze Storm and Exet are eight rounds here. Yeah, and on top of that, Zekin and BCJ are players almost. To play retake here. Happy to give up that B site. No here comes the push on. into the A site. Great shot from Nitro. Takes down Dev straight away. To pull back though, you can see the hundred three coming through. As you just as you mentioned, it's very hard to find the the uh, kill on the on the jet with it. And look how slow and steady this is from Exet. Yeah, pacing from Exet right now is fantastic. There it is, the counter hunter tree to try to make life difficult. Give Nitro a space to get this retake happening. And it's working out. Pura, last player standing. Three players left to deal with. He tries to find his way across. It's by not burning that dash, and he feels this cat hit coming. <gasps> oh, Jeff gets a very quick right click before Asana's ready. Asana, the Rainer, out of the pistol straight away. One of these will struggle to get in here. Boy, with that, a Nebula able to actually. Uh, just actually cross with his teammates here, so he's created space for this retake effort. Really taking the hits though, down to 34 points of health. Nitro also quite weak at this point. Hiko, the only player with any HP to speak of. This has been a great round so far from Exet. Nice shot by Hiko. Nitro also picking up one as well. The health here is so low, Hiko swinging in from the back. And get taken down by BCJ. He's just hearing this and they're reacting to it. They've rotated towards heaven. Good jiggle there to get Nitro off the position. <laughs> Death, the Astro goes down in mid. But the main push is on site now. Nitro, can he deal with this? He's burned the dash. Ooh. Great flick from Nitro. Another player coming through. Zek and able to get the trade, but no teammates left. And Asana is going to finish that one off. Fast B hit. Yeah, going straight away no into the site. Way. Asana is going to get taken down immediately. Hiko, backside, can he hold on to this position? By the stairs, able to deal with one. And 
trying to just reset, dodge behind the Radiant Knight Craze. He gets back sight actually, down to 21 points of health. The Shock Tots being bounced around. Eco trying to pre-fire this position. Oh, right click. Oh, no way, Eco. He's done. Oh, he's got himself three. Oh my God. Big divide as well. And they're going to go for it, sending it forward. And boys in the site, able to turn away from that one, gets just smashed by that Seeker, unable to post a defense because of that. So, so far, so good on the entry for Xset. They'll get the spike planted, but it's the retake. That's the problem. But actually, able to. Ooh. Oh, Eco getting the cheeky little frag on the exit right there. He's actually just going to go ahead and. <laughs> he wants his own <laughs> back. <laughs> I respect that. Go into a set piece straight away. They play the early round. It is a difficult style to play. And Asana might be ready to create some problems here. In this deep position, catches one. There's the dismiss. Oh, he's unable to escape. Might be an opportunity here. Coming through for Xset off the back of that pick. Can they roll it through to a site? The spike is on Catwalk, so they can't get that spike to B. They don't have entrance towards A. 100 Ds are shutting this one down. Wow, they just played so disruptive the second outside falls, but Aaron responds with two. Dan, this is winnable for him. He's just got to go. He has no time. There's the spike. He's going to have to Thunderfoot his way all away onto that site. They're going to know that he's coming. He will be able to get a safe plant, though. He puts it in front of that gem position. Ooh, that shock dart hurts. Oh, another one coming through. And there goes Hiko. And that's going to be our B main if there's a push, so... But that said, we've got that mid-round info play from Ethan. We've seen it before. Ooh, gets the turret. There goes BCJ as well. That's so scary. Eco only getting one, though. Is it enough? That's the question. Spike is going to be planted on that B site. Asana has an Empress. Will he pop it? Ooh, damage coming through there. Everybody's stuck on site except Death. Death is going for the long flank. If his teammates can hold on for long enough, Death can win the round for them. But Asana is coming in. Ooh, Death is so far away still, Dan. Just as I mentioned that, he's ending it right now. There we go, he gets the 2k, and Asana's gonna take him down, but he's got no teammates to back him up. But it might not matter, Asana comes through, and he's gonna get taken out by... He's here for the defense. Of Andrew Thies, Pura trying to get some info there. Oh, that's a huge pick from BCJ. Ethan, transfer on the site with the help of Boy, able to keep defending the site. They've got control still, and they may continue to have it for the rest of the round. Zekin's all that stands now here for Exet to try to win the battle over the site. And he's going to just about be able to do so. Swapping out for the Operator. He's crazy. Nitro. The players too. Nice shot. Nitro. Able to pick off one, gets away, Scott free. There come the Seekers to try to convert something onto the side. Oh, what a flick coming through from Nitro. Backside again. That cannon is doing damage, but eventually, eventually it goes down. His teammates yeah. were not able to provide the covering fire. They lose their jewels, and just like that, here comes Hiko. And here comes left. Asana to try to save the day on the retake. There goes the flash beyond the Cosmic Divide. No idea where to turn, where to look. Hiko coming in from the back. But the trade is good. Except. Oh, he spots the barrel just at the last second. Oh, great composure from Death to finish off the frag. Nitro with the jump peaks there behind the Radionite box on the side trying to defend. Oh, Pura, what a beautiful counterplay. The movement from this man is phenomenal as he takes another one, takes that hell control. And now it's down to Boy, one versus four. And Exet looking for that 6-6 six, six at the end of this first half. And especially after Zekin goes down for free, basically, before anything. And they on for a second, gets tagged by the shock dot. Here comes that retake, looking for that cat control. Good stuff there, Exet, nice spacing. They've got the trade ready to go if necessary, but they get the 5v4 instead. Oh, Nitro, beautiful timing on the cloud burst. This is just true gesture. Oh. It's coming through the right click. Oh, oh second tap onto Aaron, and Asana is going to follow it up as well. And it's the round for 100 deep. They used to get into the B side. The alarm bot is holding mid. Death? Oh no. Tans. Get a couple kills out of this. Might be able to really turn things around for the team, but Spike down able a. to find the one. Good trade there from Asana. Spike goes down and tough one here for Aaron and BCJ. They don't really have much in the way of snowball so quickly. And in a 6-6 game, you cannot afford for this to happen. 
exactly what he's looking for, and they're going to have to fall back out of this. Honest D's are capitalizing, Sean. They didn't manage to, you know, creep through that hole. They knew that the Odin was towards that A side. Open sight. Now he's having to defend because Death has just cut off the head of the monster here. They only have Nitro left in that B main position. He's going to be able to get the spike, but if he dies, there's no passage to the spike. Nitro has to somehow live, and Aaron will win the challenge. And it's up to Ethan, one versus three. Not a good look. He's got one player pinned down. He's got one V1s. All right, there's the crossfire. Death with just X. Especially up there around like that. Oh, Pura. He finds the head, well, not the sight in half to allow his teammates to come through. That's a really awesome <gasps> cosmic divide. But Ethan able to find the headshot onto Death. And that's going to cause a lot of issues. The cosmic divide is still up, of course. And now helps them though. Oh no. Oh no. That's a huge kill. Under these looks set up so incredibly strong for this defense. Couple kills going the way of Xset. They're in a 2v2 Two? somehow. Making the way forward. Ooh. Great shot from Pura. And now it's down to Hiko. Backside, but we've seen this before from Hiko. Looking to find the first one, but Zekin able to take they're quick enough. Yeah, they're gonna make their way forward now. Hiko with the spam kill. Loves that high pen on the Guardian. Yeah, he ran it on the backside position. Unable to do too, too much there. Only the one. So it does really put Exet in a pretty poor position here. Pura, one versus four. It is not looking very good at all here. Might want to try to hold on to the Operator and get some Exit damage. Dash is available still. He's so worried about the flank too, and he should be worried. Oh, and there's the catch. Great luck there from Boy to finish it off. And this is the kind of stuff you want to see. Boy was jump spotting it. I think he may have spotted them. Oh, the catch on the Hiko by Tiles. That's a big move. That's the other. Like, guiding light into the A site doesn't get anything. The door is smoked. This A site is gone, Dan. It's completely gone, and there's no ults for the retake here. Pyro able to pick off Boy, though. That's the controller gone. Big pick from him. Nitro looking for the swing. Might be able to get baited off of something here. There's the flash. Oh, the trade. That's a huge trade from Aaron. Out. All right, they will get destroyed. That will give away that some information. Asna, the big boss here of 100 Thieves, the duelist to do it all. One versus two. BCJ is on coming. He's got an isolated fight. There's the peak. BCJ forcing him out as to come off of it. There's the dismiss. Asna toying, playing with his food. But Aaron is going to bite back. Oh, clutch round from Aaron. We nested so deep in this B site. Oh, BCJ, he has that Hunter's Fury as well. There it goes. What is he going to find with it? Death back sight. Can he hang on? Death is hanging on. He's just toying with them. And just, oh, the jiggles here from Death are perfect. Takes down one. Still alive back sight. There's the reinforcements. But just like that, 100 Thieves sweeping in with three unanswered frags. And now BCJ is alone. One versus three. I think just a lick of damage off of the shock dart, but this feels so desperate right now. BCJ, four left in the chamber. Able to take down one to swap out for the Phantom, but five HP makes it very tough indeed. As he repositions, resets. There's the info though. Nova Pulse will not catch him. Really so difficult Ooh. here for BCJ. So unimaginably difficult. How do oh, oh boy! He gives BCJ a chance here. BCJ picking up another gun. It was empty. He, goes. he must have mathematicians on his team just doing right now. They've only got the Killjoy there. I think it's just going to be challenged. Okay, well, they have the Hunter's Fury to deal with the lockdown. Ooh. Oh, Zekun! My goodness! He picks up two incredibly important kills. Ethan and Asuna are gone. Maybe there's a chance after all. The spike is only just now going down. Aaron has to destroy this door. There's two players on the site. There's one in A main. Except I might have that information because they've had control around tree for a while, so they should be able to hear some of these these kind of tidbits. All oh, that cloud burst is certainly going to delay things here. But BCJ, oh. he's found himself, boy. Nitro, he's got no health. He's got no health here. Backside. Oh, but somehow still 